regarding sex workers, your guest is spot on. Opponents of sex work refuse to actually soil their hands by talking to the workers. Here in Costa Rica, poverty is the driver. Your guest never mentioned that, unfortunately, though I suspect she's aware of its role. Well, I think the point is, definitely, but I think the point is, is that um, she's saying that you need to be able to allow space both in terms of a discourse to form policy, but also in terms of the broader discussion that there are people, we don't know how many, but a significant number, according to her, who engage in sex work with no or more or less coercion than one engages in many other jobs. I mean, we've seen that there's a lot of people, if you give them uh, opportunity to buy health care, low-cost health care on the exchanges, they will quit their jobs. I imagine you would see more of that if we had single-payer health care. If we had free health care for everybody, I think you'd see more of that. Uh, so there needs to be that space. Yes, poverty uh, may drive people into sex work. But only if there's not an, uh, there's not other jobs to be had for those people. Poverty drives people into job uh, to work all the time, essentially. Right? Uh, the issue is when there is no jobs, uh, or when there's not enough support to provide skills for those jobs, depending on the country. So I don't. I don't think that she would have a, an issue with that. And I think to a large extent, at least in our context, we're talking about American society. But I think the, the point is, is that we need to have a, a conversation about not making that work be somehow not just work. Because she's right. Look, you can go into restaurants in this city, and there is no doubt in my mind. You go into restaurants in this city, and the people serving your food have been brought over from maybe it's Thailand, maybe it's Vietnam, maybe it's other countries. They've been brought over. They are given housing, really crappy housing, and they're basically told, you need to work in this restaurant for sub-minimum wages to pay off your rent. Period. There is no doubt in my mind. That does not mean that waiting tables as a profession, as a job, is any less legitimate. That was the point she was making. And that in order to take on those serious labor abuses, you need to get sex work to that point where you talk about it in the same way. Absolutely. That's because that's the next step after Absolutely. what you said. If you really want to she was I just to, I mean I just want to really underline she was in no way and she does not in any way minimize human trafficking or abuse. She's actually saying that in order to really take care of that, you need to get away from Yes. That, that. Yes. Yes. I mean because you also then provide an incentive for as opposed to a disincentive for people working in that industry to say, hey, this is a problem over here. 